Welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. So in today's After Effects tutorial video, we are going to actually see and look the basics of the Adobe After Effects software. So once you have opened your Adobe After Effects, then there is a menu bar uh, and this menu bar can be used to manipulate the uh, effects or add many options so first of all there is a file menu if you click on that there are various options available the first option is new from here you can just create a new project or a new folder so the next option is of open project we can go there and uh, from here you can just open any of the after effects project that you have already created the next uh, option is an open recent projects option. So from here you can just open the recent pr uh, projects on which you have worked. After that we have a close option that is used to just close your project. Then we have a save option and a save as option. So the difference between save and save as is that with save you can just save the changes in your current project with the same name and if you're uh, using a save as option then you can just give it any name that you want and uh, similarly there is an option of import and uh, with the help of this option we can just import the files into our adobe after effects project next option is an import recent footage that is similar to the recent projects option that will open the recent uh, projects or the recent files on which you have worked on and uh, through this you can just import them the next option is for export and uh, this option is used to just generate an animation independent of the adobe after effects suppose you have created some animation and now you want to uh, look at it uh, you want to export it in a form of a media file then you can just export it by going to this option that is add to render queue so here is an option of render settings here you can just uh, click on this best settings and here you will find some of the options which you can play with you can change the quality as per your choice but uh, just keep it best for the best results you can change the resolution settings as well but uh, it is advised to keep a full resolution now there is an important option called the use comps frame rate now this option is used to set the frame rate of the animation usually we keep a frame rate of 30 frames per second for our animation but if you want you can just change it uh, over here and um, if you want you can just select this option and uh, define a custom frame rate suppose i am setting a frame rate of 24 frames per second then uh, in that case this uh, will be exported this animation would be exported at a frame rate of 24 frames per second and uh, now from here on you can just uh, select the start and the end position of your animation although you can just set your work area over there or if you want you can just set the duration of the animation from here only you can just select this custom option and from here the duration is the total duration that is the length of your composition the duration of your composition and from the start point you can just select this start point and from this end you can just select your end position of your composition and then hit ok otherwise you can just select this time span uh, as the length of the composition that is the total length of the composition would be exported or rendered or if you want you can just export your work area only and there is an another option of output module if you just click on it then from here you can just select the different formats in which you can export your uh, composition uh, but for the default it is an avi format for your composition to be imported then there is a video output for which we have some of the specifications like uh, here the rgb channel or the rgb colors would be used then the depth uh, and the type of the colors from here you can just manipulate all of these values then there is an option of resize if we just check on it then all these options become visible from here if you want you can just uh, resize your composition and set it to your custom dimensions irrespective of the size of the composition that you have created now if you just check this crop option you can also crop your composition from the sides and that's totally up to you now there is an option of audio output uh, that is for the video output and this is for the audio output if you want you can just uh, change the settings of the 
audio output as well but uh, these are the default settings that should be kept now if you want to render something uh, then there is an op option of output to you can just click over here you can now just select the path where your file is going to save and just provide it a name and click on save then uh, you can just click on render and your file would be rendered now the next option that we have is of uh, a project settings option you can just uh, ch uh, check or just change the settings of the project as per your choice as per your wish and uh, apart from that if you want you can just exit from your project using this exit option or control Q now the next option that we have in our menu bar is that of edit so here the first two options are of undo and redo then there is an option of history in which you can just uh, see your history or your history of actions if you want you can just manipulate them then there are some of the options these are the basic options which uh, we are not gonna just discuss uh, which because they're very basic then there is duplicate you can just duplicate any of your layer using this so for that uh, we are just gonna see an example suppose we create a composition a new composition now we can just create a new solid layer and name it as pg and hit ok now if we want to duplicate this layer we can go to edit and click on duplicate then this layer would be duplicated just like this now if we want this uh, layer to be split it so we just move forward into a few seconds in time go to edit and select on split layer then this layer would be split it just like this select all so both of these layers would be selected then deselect all then label and then purge okay so this purge option is uh, important you can just go to purge and select this all memory and disk cache so uh, there will be an option so if you just click ok then uh, what this purge will do it will just clear all of your cache memory and uh, will help you to free memory or uh, free your memory so that would be always beneficial so you just remember to just delete your cache or uh, just clear your uh, disk cache or purge your disk memory once in a while the next option that we have is of a composition from here you can just create a new composition uh, over here when we open it we find a variety of options first is a composition name you can give a name to your composition and that could be anything that you want you can just select a custom preset or any of the predefined presets that you want you can just select the width and the height of your composition from here and if you want you can just lock your aspect ratio then you can set a frame rate from here and the start time code from where the composition is going to start and the duration and the background color of your composition if you click ok then a new composition with the specified settings would be created next in composition we have a composition settings so if we go to there then the same panel would be open and you can change your composition settings anytime the next thing uh, uh, we have in composition is uh, we can add to render queue this composition directly from here instead of going to export and that and another is a preview option from where you can just preview your uh, work that you have done or you can just go to a preview tab that's simple as that next we have an option for a layer so from here you can just go to a uh, new and you will find an option of the various layers that you can add in adobe after effects or if you have a focus on a layer then uh, you can just go to solid settings and from here you will find this layer specifications you can just make any changes to this layer like changing its color and so on so that's all for the layer composition and from here if you want you can just add a different things to your layer which we're gonna uh, just discuss in detail when we will be discussing about layers so uh, from here you can just apply different kinds of styles to layers and one more thing you can just pre-compose your layer from over here just like this so this layer is now uh, changed to a composition now if your layer is selected and you go to an effect options then from here you can just add a variety of effects uh, onto your layer 
Next, uh, we have animations in which we can just uh, find a keyframe assistant. So for that, what we are going to do is first add some of the keyframes. Suppose uh, we add a keyframe for scale. Just like this, uh, we have added two keyframes. So if we just select these keyframes, go to animation and uh, go to keyframe assistant. Then there uh, we will find an option of these easy keyframes, easy ease in, easy ease out and all those options we can easy ease our keyframes from here we can go to animation and change the keyframe with velocity which is uh as per these uh specifications if you want you can just uh, change them or keep them the same the next we have a view option from here you can just select the zoom options like uh, you can just zoom in your composition from here so you can see the zoom percentage being changed uh, like this or you can just zoom out repeatedly by setting this or you can just change the zoom percentage from over here as well. Now if you want you can just change the resolution from over here as well you can uh, check to show rulers so this rulers would be visible for the guides we can um, if the guides option is turned on like show guides option is turned on then you can just view the guides if the log guides option is turned on then these guides would not be available for selection if that is turned off then you can just move those guides like this and you can just clear your guides you can uncheck show rulers option so these will be unvisible now if you want you can just go to a specified time suppose i have um, specified like i want to go to a three second and hit ok then you can see that my stylus is moved to a three second time the next option is a windows option from here you can just select your workspace at present i'm using a text workspace you can define your own custom workspace or you can just delete an existing workspace